is going to be a shot at goal here for Karen Paxman, and any score will do. With 41 seconds left, the clock's going to continue to tick. She will take her full 30 seconds and wind it down. Karen Paxman. Barry's a demon! <laughs> Melbourne find a way to beat their nemesis. It's far from redemption, but it's a great first step. Melbourne up by three goals with just 12 seconds to play. Ivy tackled strongly into the deck. But it's the D's who roar. They've knocked off the reigning champs. It's a grand old fight. O'Sullivan, tap went straight to Harris, who bombs it inside 50. Punched away from Hoare, taken by Zanka, given to Kate Hoare for the perfect start for Melbourne. Doesn't get much better. Very attracts it back, controlled it nicely and gave it to Lowe. Lowe's high kick towards half forward. Big collision coming up. Well done, Kate Hoare. What courage. She's come back with the flight of the ball and, and just read it so well. Huge play. Now it's Melbourne who have wrested control of the contest and looking to put it to bed. Miller beaten to it. Purcell again involved with Heath. High kick. Pierce at the back. Uses her body. Hoare at the front. Steps. Snaps. And goals! Melbourne go bang bang! And in the blink of an eye, the D's regain control of the game. Margin back out to 16 points. Kate Hall with her second of the afternoon. Fashions a little kick inside. It won't sit for Zanka. Having trouble picking it up. She's got it now. Flips a handball in the west direction. Steps on her preferred left foot. High kick. Here is Bannon in. Hall stays down and kicks her third. Um, but yeah, we struggled to iron out a few of the details in the seven year contract that we were trying to negotiate and uh, instead I'll be making my retirement. Um, and yeah, closing the chapter on my playing career with a very full heart, um, not just because we ticked the premiership box in the season just gone, but because of a career that I've loved and cherished. So yep, I'll miss um, the whole program and the players and staff and people that I've got to share the journey with immensely. Yeah, just an overall satisfaction and feeling like that chapter of my life um, is a full one and I'll take away some, an amaz some amazing relationships, um, memories that will last a lifetime and a real excitement and optimism about what's next um, for me and for my family. So we're about to go, the final series getting underway in the AFLW. It shield your eyes from the sun material. It's a perfect night for football and this is going to be some final series as we get it underway. Up and under, Macken just has to reel it in, tries to get out of the Thompson, the Jones tackle does so. Zanka reading it best, carries over the back, Zanka just needs to get boot to ball. And she's almost put it to bed. Miffin off the deck. The race towards the footy as the clock ticks down. Siren sounds. Bannon and the D's, arms aloft. They're through to a prelim final. It's a grand old flag. It's a high flying flag. Brisbane awaits. Who will join them in the season seven decider? The D's determined to earn another shot. The Roos desperate to make their first. It's Melbourne and North Melbourne at Icon Park. No hurry at all for Chaplin. Should be happy to kick it to congestion. Does just that, doesn't get all of it. Might still work here for Pierce at ground level. Shrugs Riddell onto her right boot. Gets good traction on the football. And Melbourne are into another grand final. puts her team into their second consecutive grand final. They lead it by three goals with under three to play.
The Dees move a step closer to finishing their business. Melbourne into their second straight AFLW Grand Final. Now only the Brisbane Lions stand between the Dees and the ultimate prize. But the time's come for us to find out. Two great clubs, Brisbane looking for their second cup, Melbourne their first, four quarters away from a piece of football immortality, and away we go at Springfield. Conway will get the first touch, or their first, flips it out, Purcell, can she get the hands free from Monaghan? She does, Hall finds her boot, can she find a goal? She finds Harris on the line. And she will go back to the top of the goal square. The competition's all-time leading goal scorer. She's kicked 10 goals, 10 for the season. None more important than this. And Melbourne lead the grand final. 16th touch for Liv. Zank at the target. And Melbourne.